So what do we do then? Final attack Phoenix, final attack Knights of the Round? And hope that only five casts is enough? At least that means I don't have to cast it preemptively. So, I can't... No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. You only get one cast. You only get one cast if you don't mime it. Wait does nothing for us anyways. Wait just means that Peerless will last forever. Countermine does work. What are you talking about? Countermine works. The issue with doing that is everyone gets one shot, so Countermine doesn't work. And I only have one one Knights of the Round, so once everyone dies and revives themselves, Countermine doesn't do anything. I think I need to go back to the strat I was doing originally. and just be hope for better luck. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. Because I almost had him the one time, and then Red 13 kept dying at bad times. It's so frustrating, though, because that time, he didn't use Peerless at all, and I know now he's just going to spam it.
I want. Oh. said that he's immune to the duel. statuses work on him. Double hit red 13. What are you doing? Why do you. Like, ac actually, seriously, why? Why does he get two attacks? Why does he attack red 13 twice? Why does this crap happen to me? Of all the things to happen. Why couldn't he dodge either one of them? Yeah, but just waste the freaking final attack. It's annoying. Okay. Let's hope we get lucky like we did the one time. The one time I got all the way to green without him using anything. Lately, now it's every time I hit him, he fearlesses. Literally just gonna sit here and attack with Cloud until he dies. He has final attack revive, so. Well, till anyone dies, because once somebody dies, they revive, and then... That's what sucks, though. Lie Strike will probably kill somebody. 
So, unless bar I get Barrier all the way there. If this kills both of them, then Barrier should... No, it won't, because it goes down while he's talking. So, this will probably kill somebody and then rip Omni Slash. More than likely. Oh, actually, he's going to talk really fast. Let's see. If it hits Cloud, he'll mime it. Alright, perfect. He'll mime Omni Slash. Or not. Why didn't he, uh, why didn't he mime it? You're still attacking? How many attacks you get? <laughs> like, good god. Okay, this is really good. Let's hope this takes him out. I don't know if it will or not. Doesn't it usually? No. But... Peerless is gone now, but so is everything else I need. But I can 4x cut at least. This is insane. I don't know why he does this now. He didn't do this before. Now all of a sudden he just always always, always counters with Adrenaline. No matter what I do. Oops, wrong curtain. I just don't understand how he works. You know, I, I wish I understood, but it just seems like he changes the rules way too often. It just seems like I get a different fight every time. That's what's frustrating. Alright, we got to green form. Now, if we can Knights of the Round here, I might have a shot at this. I want to at least get a little bit of damage on him first. And then... God dang it, he did it again! Ah, oh, He freaking double attacked Red 13 again. It's always gotta be Red 13. It can't be anybody else. It can't be Cloud, who will survive it. It can't be Yuffie, who doesn't matter. It always has to be freaking Red 13. Please dodge. You all have missed aisles. Please dodge. Except Yuffie. But you'll probably dodge it anyways. Now freaking Cloud has duel. Fan freaking tastic. Why does Holy Torch hit everyone? What? Since when? And then Cloud gets one shot. I don't know why, he just does. I hate this fight. I hate it so much. He he just he, I he straight up just changes the rules all the frickin' time, and I don't understand. It's so incredibly frustrating. No matter what I do, he just seems to always do exactly what I don't want. That time he crit, so he crit, so everyone's automatically dead. Well, somehow Red 13 survived it, but Cloud didn't. I don't really know what happened there. This is stupid. This is stupid. I think. I'm 
just gonna sit here and he's gonna miss forever and I'm just gonna win. Off of pure luck. I think I do Knights of the Round first and save Omni Slash. And then at the end just mime Omni Slash and hope for the best. You know? Like just do nothing but Omni Slash at the end. Look at this! Look at all these misses! Like I what is what is the the chances? Like I need a thing on the side of the screen to tell me like what the percentages are. Cause Cloud has no hero drinks here. This is just normal Cloud. Yet he's like he dodged like nine in a row and then gets hit twice in a row. Like I think the mod like screws with the percentages like real hard. Because there will be times when I get hit every single time and then he'll miss like eight times in a row. Like, I don't even understand. Alright. Um, Knights of the Round first? Because then I don't need Red 13 in the last form. I can just make sure Cloud is buffed. And then just Omni Slash. Plus Omni Slash does... Well, no. Omni Slash does less damage. And Omni Slash doesn't ignore defense. So once he... Peerless is too much. Did you notice also at the end he stopped peerlessing? Like, it blows my mind how absolutely broken this fight is. He peerlesses like crazy until I'm already dead, and then like he stopped peerlessing at the end. <laughs> it's, it's beyond belief, man. I know, the hope is that Cloud never dies. Cloud didn't die in that fight at all till the end. He dodged the lie strike. The regular attacks weren't doing any damage until he buffed a bunch. Why just give Cloud Knights of the Round? Give Cloud Knights of the Round. It's just going to take a lucky run. It's just going to take a lucky run where I don't get screwed by stuff and everything just goes well. You know? sure what Adrenaline's code is. It's part of the problem is so I don't know how it works. I do know how Lie Strike works. Lie Strike is random at all times at any time. <laughs> Which is probably the stupidest code I've ever read in my life. Like, he can just Lie Strike at any time. He can be in the middle of an attack and the game just says, okay, I'm gonna Lie Strike now. So after that attack, he Lie Strikes for free. It's pretty dumb. So 
Don't do Tina Max? I have no idea. I love this. I absolutely just love this. Love it. Love it. Loving it. I'm loving it. Screw Red 13. Just let him die. Doesn't matter what I do, he just dies. So what, what's the point? Just let him die. Give up on Red 13, dude. Maybe. What was that like 2,000 damage? Did you see that? Did I see that right? Oh, I thought it said like 2,000 damage on the first hit. I need a name for my Guild Wars 2 female ranger hunter. Uh, bringer of Sausage. Slash up for one more. That's fine. Uh, no, it's not. She's going to die. Please throw this Mega Elixir before Cloud dies, or this whole strat is ruined. Well, not exactly. But... This is gonna be kinda stupid. Every time. It, without fail, man. Without fail. It never ceases to amaze me. Red 13 is completely useless in this fight. I feel as if there's a part of the code that says if Red 13 is alive, attack Red 13 and do max damage. He's just completely useless. Every time Red 13 like tries to do anything, he just dies. No matter what. It's it's like magic. It's some kind of magic code. Ah, oh, well, game over. Lie Strike decided to one shot. Unless he just misses like crazy now, for some magic reason, I'm pretty much dead. Nope. Nope. He's gonna crit Lie Strike now, just for fun. Just for extra damage. Thanks. This is so dumb. At any point he can just, uh, I win. Yep, yep. Feels good, man. Wish any of my keys did anything. Oh god, what did I do? What? What did I do? I broke everything. Can, can you still hear me? Am I back? Am I still here? 
I, I somehow signed out. I don't know how. I signed out of Windows. How does one sign out of Windows with just this keyboard? I don't think I hit the Windows key. I learned something new today. You spam your your keyboard, you can sign out of Windows. Alright, I think Cloud might be able to survive now. Yes, okay, we can do this. We can do this, boys! Cloud is, Cloud is set up. His barrier's gonna run out. I don't know how much he can survive after that. If he decides to, like, crit Y strike, Cloud's dead anyways. But I will get some Knights of the Round out of this. And it will do max damage. Well, sure. It should for a while. Once the adrenaline's double times, it might not. But Cloud is MP Turbo, four hero drinks, so it'll do max damage for a bit. I can't wait to see how my recording looks when I <laughs> when I signed out of Windows. What did you guys see? Did you just see like a signed out of Windows page or something? Like, did you see my me logging in or? Was it just like black screen or what? <laughs> I'm curious to know what happened. Oh, it's just black screen? Fantastic. Fantastic. Perfect. That's exactly my plan all along. Alright, so he'll probably eat adrenaline. But see, he's on fastest speed, so. It's not going to be like before where we have a bunch of knights around do no damage. If I'm lucky enough, it'll just be... Uh, oh wow, he didn't even adrenaline. He big stamp. Which is perfect. That's exactly what I want him to do forever. MP means nothing to me. At all. Let's not get hit by this. Let's not. Let's not get hit by that. Or just don't do anything bad. Okay. Alright, this is one Knights of the Round. He might Adrenaline afterwards. If not, it's two Knights of the Rounds. And then it's just... It's, it's just... At this point, it's luck. You know? This is where I'm at. I need probably three more Knights of the Rounds. So... I need three more Knights of the Rounds. He needs to not one-shot me because he feels like it, which happens like 50% of the time. <laughs> like 50% of the time he just does max damage because it like just it just goes through defense and he just kills me. So I, that just needs to not happen. What would be even better is if he hits me and doesn't kill me because that's an automatic two more Knights of the Rounds if he's not adrenaline. But this is the strat. This is it. This is the best strat I have without mastering a bunch of materia and grinding for like days to get like more counter mimes, more Knights of the Round casts. You know, this is the strat. This is all I got. This has to work. I just have to get lucky. What's up, Sprocket Games? Okay, he adrenaline. So this is gonna do nothing. That'd be really great if time went during this. I think it is. Maybe Adrenaline will run out. No. Alright, so this will do nothing. But this will get rid of Peerless. During this, so... That's something. Like, as soon as this is over, Peerless will be gone. More than likely. It really sucks that, that it didn't go away quicker, though. He has, we're at, we're at fastest battle speed and he has haste. So it lasts a really, really, really short time. But not quick enough to go in between W summon casts. Because it's only a very small, it's like two, a two second time window between W summon casts. That two second time window is what we use to beat Ruby Weapon with 
level one cloud. We threw a dazer in between that two second time window as his paralysis was wearing out. I almost feel like I should just not W summon Knights of the Round. Like there's almost no point because he's always going to peerless. So maybe it'd be better spent with something else. I don't know what. Phoenix, maybe, just to revive. Just to revive, uh... My other party members to give them something to hit. So this is another one. We just gotta get lucky a couple more times, that's it. And I'm also starting to not do max damage because he's adrenaline enough. He has super stats now. He still has that shield, too, from like a year ago. No, there's no way. Why, where do you get that? That adrenaline must give shields. Because he shouldn't have a shield. I don't know why he has a shield. However he got that shield, it should be gone soon, but it's kind of unfortunate that it's there. Like, how did Peerless run out, but the shield's still there? Pretty sure it's the same time. This is so stupid. This is so luck based. There's nothing else I can do. I'll just sit here and hold circle. That's all I can do. I'm so dumb. I have the setup though. I mean, I got Cloud with everything he needs to survive. But if he gets crit, he's dead. And honestly, he's probably dead anyway. Because now Peerless is at its, you know, the stat buffs are at its max. So he's going to do so much damage. Cloud just has to dodge. Like, that's it. Just, I have to get lucky and Cloud dodges. That's the only thing I got left. Like, he dodges, I win. If he doesn't dodge, I lose. And I don't know what the percentage of dodging is. The fight before, he dodged like eight times in a row, but then he also got hit like four times in a row before that. So I don't know, I don't know what the percentages is, but the percentages are, the percentages is. I doesn't know what the percentages is. If I do this again, I'm going to take off W Summon, it's not worth it. It's not doing anything. It's just always going to get peerless away. All it does is help his peerless go a little bit, but not enough to matter. Oh, there you go. Game over. Lie strike for the win. This is dumb. This is dumb. Well, what now? Do we keep trying to get lucky or do we figure out what we need to master? What's the lowest time thing we could master to win this? If I mastered another mime, it would mean I could mime twice. I could command... Well, see, I, that doesn't even help. I can command counter twice, but I'm, I wasn't command countering. I just get one shot.
So mime doesn't really help. If I could get... If I could get another Knights of the Round, I could... Um... I don't even know what that would do for me. Another Knights of the Round wouldn't even help. Try something different. I'm gonna try something a little different. something completely different. thinking is 
He doesn't seem to use... Can I get a Mega Elixir, please? Please, please miss. Don't do this to me. You didn't kill you, she did you? Where's my Mega Elixir? Goodness. Just blew a million years ago. He doesn't seem to spam Peerless when I'm not Omni Slashing or, uh,. Or... Knights of the Round. So what if I just 4x cut forever? Because they don't, like... Without the stat boosts, and with safety bits, he can't really kill much of anything as long as I have shields up, which is hard on active battle, but I can just spam it with these other two guys because they can't really do much anyways. I don't know how Red 13 dies there. But whatever. I think he got crit. Thanks. Again. Again with this. I cannot... I cannot believe this This freaking fight. Every time Red 13's alive. Why strike, attack Red 13. Every single time. Without fall. Every single time. That sucks if you use that, but... It's not the end of the world. I wonder if I can reflect that. Damn it. One little just lie strike hit too many people and this whole battle is off the rails. That's all it takes. Just one lie strike to go wrong and everything's poop. Like that's it. Red 13 and Yuffie are now useless. They will just die over and over and over again. Oh, and Cloud gets one shot too. Sweet. Actually, he should have gotten one shot because he got killed before. He doesn't have any healer drink, so. Alright. This feels great. He keeps Mighty Guarding. Jeez. Stop. Did I throw Reflect on him or something? Like, I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess Mighty Guard doesn't really matter too much. Thank you. Finally, some dodges. I can't believe it. I don't care about the barrier. The barrier uh, only lasts a couple seconds. So he does this adrenaline. It seems like he always does this adrenaline in blue form. So that's like not a big deal. Like one adrenaline I can deal with. It's every single adrenaline after that. That's the, the worst thing ever. I mean one adrenaline is still pretty bad to be honest. But it's... it's... could be worse. Because now, like, I need max hero drinks just to survive, like, anything. <sighs> she was gonna throw my curtains, too. Can Yuffie survive, please? No? Okay. Thanks anyways, just wanted to try it, but I guess 
Not allowed to have you be alive. It's fine. Oh my god. This isn't. This is. This is stupid. Like, this is just. If I can keep him at one adrenaline, then maybe I can survive attacks. But it seems like Red 13 just wants to die no matter what. Like, he cannot stay alive. He's adrenaline again, and I didn't do anything. Yeah, this is. This strat ain't gonna work. This strat is in the, in the garbage bin already, because he adrenaline twice, and I all I did was 4x cut. We're not missing anything. The creator of the mod does a similar thing to this, but has more more Knights of the Round materials. And that's how he beat it. He didn't do it, there's no, like, cheese that he knows of. This becomes impossible as soon as he starts adrenaline. Adrenaline is too much. I don't know how that didn't kill me either, by the way. I guess the rules just change sometimes. I had no barrier, and he's adrenaline three times, and yet Cloud somehow survived that. I don't know how. No clue on that one. No idea how Cloud's living all of this. <laughs> really no idea. Now here comes the automatic live strike death. Alright, Red 13 lived it, I don't know how. I don't know, I don't know how you did it, Red 13, but you did it. See now if Yuffie was alive, I could have her throw curtains, but she's not, so that causes a big problem. Now here's the question, is he just going to adrenaline me into oblivion again? Or you just one-shot me, that's fine too. <laughs> I, I give up, man. What am I supposed to do? Like, what am I supposed to do when you can just at any time one-shot Cloud? But, like, what is my, what's the plan? I, there's no plan. Red, he had everything he needed and he just got one-shot anyways. I don't, like, there's no... There's no formula here. There's nothing I can do. There's no, like, this is the magic formula. He just gets smacked and dies. No matter, like, this is, without a doubt, one of the most frustrating things I've ever fought in anything ever. Because he's just so random. He just randomly decides to kill, like... He just seems to sometimes do max damage. I read something that, like, he can sometimes go through armor, and I think that's what it is. I think sometimes he just, I think there's some kind of percentage on his attack where sometimes he just ignores armor. So no matter what I do, he sometimes just kills me. And final attack strats don't work because of adrenaline, so... Pick your poison. Stay alive and do nothing, or die and... Do nothing. My only strat is to sit here and 4x cut him and hope he just dodges everything. See, look at all his dodges now! I feel like. Not to mention he just attacked four times in a row. I don't know, man. I have no I have no answers anymore. I have none. I I'm I'm out of I'm out of answers. My only answer is to go master more material. My only answer is to do what the, the creator of the mod did and go master more command counter mimes so cloud can just dish out a bunch of damage even though it doesn't really matter because he'll just adrenaline but like if I had enough counter mimes if I had enough counter mimes I could 
possibly just outlast the the adrenaline, but that would never happen. Mine takes one million AP, and I get twelve thousand per double uh, magic pot fight. So that's out. If I sit here for a long time, I can get one more mime and one more Knights of the Round. But I don't know what that will do for me. See you, Queen. I'm not using slots just because I'm not using slots. Slots would be stupid. There's no fun in that. I don't know if slots works, but I'm not using it. It probably does, and it doesn't even matter... Um, like, if you put the game on weight, you can always get slots out. I just, I don't even know what to level up. I don't even know, like, what to do. It just seems like no matter what I do, he just eventually starts one-shotting everyone instantly. So what... What do I do? The only thing that can stop it is shield. And if I use shield... shield no, it, shield doesn't even work, because I got live strike through shield last time. So that doesn't even work. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't work. Maybe if I got max dexterity with red 13 and Yuffie they could stay alive easier and vitality they have like no vitality they just get destroyed so I need I probably need to source farm more that's not why I died it did 9999 damage I didn't die because of death if you die because of death, it, you just die. It doesn't put up a number. And I didn't miss with death force. I hit with death force and then I got hit and he mimed the death force and missed with the second death force. So, I think we'll stop here with the hardcore mod. And what I'll do is next time we will source farm to max vitality and max dexterity and master a knights of the round because with that I could fully buff the party and as long as they all got as lucky as cloud was getting and stays alive long enough I could give two people knights of the round and just and I'd be able to, like, Knights of the Round, mime it, heal, Knights of the Round, mime it. And that would be a lot of, that would, you know, that would be enough. But with this, it's just impossible. Red 13 and Yuffie just die immediately. And Cloud could almost solo it himself, but eventually he gets unlucky and dies. You know, especially if, um, watching a video of someone beating it, they're over 9,999 HP and making use of Dragon Force. First of all, Dragon Force is dumb. It's just a worse hero drink. Second of all, if they have more than 9,999 HP, then they have the HP mod active. So that's not what I'm doing. That's just cheating. Um, 
so yeah, uh, he's just eventually getting unlucky because he's the only person that can survive because he's the only one with max vitality and dexterity. So I just need to get them caught up stat-wise so that they can actually survive just like Cloud does. And then at that point I could even like 4x cut or something, just, just anything, you know, get as many nice rounds out as I can and then just, uh, and then just 4x cut, you know, and I should have enough. I can actually like sustain then. I can't sustain with what I have now. Plus, I could even set the battle speed to be slower and just sit there and, and survive while Peerless runs out. Because I can shield and do all sorts of things. So yeah, that's the plan. That's what Joe does in his video. So that's what I'm going to do. I tried my hardest to beat him without max statting and without, you know, doing the only one strat that, that is known to work, but it's just not going to work out. He, I'm just not lucky enough. Cloud just keeps getting killed. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it the way it's intended to be done with full stat, everyone, you know, Knights of the Round being mastered. So, that's what we'll do. Why do people keep saying lucky sevens? I really don't think that would work. Because, well, can lucky sevens be countered? I don't know if it can or not. If it can be countered, then it wouldn't work. If it can't be countered, and you were able to get lucky sevens during the final fight, which, good luck with that, uh, it could work. I guess if you had someone's max health at like 7,778 and you got to the final form and then attacked them with Yuffie. It could work, I guess. Use Lucky Sevens with Black Chocobo. With one character or everyone? I don't think it actually matters, because I think it still does the same amount of hits, yeah. So it doesn't actually matter. Uh, well, I'll just copy it, I guess. Like, it all, Lucky Sevens only does like half a million damage or something. Uh, it wouldn't be enough. You would have to you would have to get to the final form and then activate it. That'd be like the only way. So if I could like give Cloud exactly 7778 HP and then does that even work? I don't know if that works. I've never tried it with the uh Let's see. This one This one. This one. I've never tried this before. of this. Yeah, uh. 
seven, 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 eight. I'd rather not cut out the grinding time with choke with black chocobo because uh, I just feel like to beat the mod for real you need to play it. The only thing I use is just to put that save point there because it's really annoying otherwise but uh, I'd rather not cut out the grinding. I can but like then where do we you know where do we call it call the line then? Oops, she just that next time. Um like do where do we call the line? Do I just master one Knights of the Round? Because if I can use Black Chocobo, well, I could just counter mine Knights of the Round eight times. You know, which still might not work, but... Uh, yeah, I just feel like there, it's a slippery slope, so I'd rather just not use it at all. But I don't know, maybe if it's taking forever, we can skip uh, some grinding with Black Chocobo. Well. Yeah, I've just never tried this before. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but... So... As long as he didn't counter... That would work. Uh, I still gotta get lucky. How did he get one more health all of a sudden? What happened, D? Why you got more health than you're supposed to have? What's up, D. Prodrick? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. See you dropped on. There we go. So if I did the same as Act Strat, if I just Omni slash my way to uh, to the final form, and then Lucky Sevens, would it work? That's the question. I guess we'll try it for fun. Just as a little bonus. If I can even do it, I don't know. I mean, it should work. With Omni Slash, it should work. Should be able to get to the green form with Omni Slash. Then it's just keeping Yuffie alive is the other issue. If he luckily kills Yuffie, then I got a problem in my hands. But... Yes, but if I start the battle with Lucky Sevens, I won't kill him. It won't be enough damage. Also, I don't even know if it'll persist through forms. It might, but I don't. I feel like it won't. What if I... What if I did Lucky 7s and then Omni Slash at the end? Would that work? Because I could interrupt it maybe with Omni Slash. That might do enough damage. I don't know. Or I could Knights of the Round afterwards or something. Ow, son of a... I 
kind of wonder if it'll even, like, work at all. God dang it, I missed freaking... I'm slashing. I might have to, like, do some 4x cuts or something and then do it or something. I don't know. Let's try it. What could go wrong? Except everything. I should have just like maxed our stats because this is just a test anyways. and light curtains until I die. Just every turn, Mega Elixir light curtain. Ow. It works out. As soon as I lose my barrier, I get another light curtain. Kind of working out. I don't know why Yuffie didn't get a barrier. Did she get like dispelled or something? Oh crap, she has X attack. What the heck? God dang it. Does that X attack work if I hit? No. Stupid me. Stupid me! Alright. If we're gonna do this, let's do this. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna smack it all. Let's see, let's see what max stats can do for me. Cause I think that's what I'm missing. I really think that's like the the thing that I'm missing on, you know. That's what's kind of destroying this this boss for me. I think it's I think it's the the max stats that I'm missing out on. You can't overflow on this mod because the ultimate weapons were altered. Yeah, 7,777 max health with Phoenix might be good, also. Or just life, that would be Phoenix. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is what I'm wondering. Like, if I could get everyone to max stats, what would this fight look like? Can I just throw Mega Elixirs and Light Curtains and never die? Is Lie Strike still gonna just one shot me? Like, am I? Can I just dodge like way more? You know what? What's gonna happen? So we'll see. Because I think that's what I need. I think that's what I need to beat beat it on my actual file is just max stats. I think that's what I'm missing out on. I think that even Cloud Solo would go a lot better if he had max de dexterity. He would dodge a lot more. It would be easier to just not get one shot out of nowhere for no reason. Because once he, you know, once he hero drinks up, it's, it's so hard to survive like anything no matter what. Like, look at all this dodging that's going on though. Even, even Yuffie, who doesn't have the missile, can dodge, like, everything. So, I think that's what, I think that's just what's, that's what I need. Same strat, uh, just, just, Red 13 and Yuffie need to be actually part of the fight, because they always just die immediately, it, there's no way to keep them alive. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull an elixir, light curtain. Or should I Omni Slash first? I guess I could try to Omni Slash. He might just die though, because I ran out of light curtain, or I ran out of barrier. And Lionheart's better than Omni Slash? I don't know about that. I don't know about that theory. That theory craft. Oh, alright. Or well, that could happen. Good old lie strike sometimes just hits everybody. We're all max statted out, and lie strike still just one shots. It just. It, it seems like it sometimes. Uh. It seems like it, it sometimes goes through armor and there's nothing you can do about it. That's where I'm stuck on this fight, it's just it, sometimes he just kills me and I don't know, I don't even know what the damage calculation was, I don't know why I died, I just do. It's not, a de it shouldn't be a default one shot, I've survived it plenty of times. Just like sometimes, sometimes you gotta know when to hold them. Know when to hold them. Sometimes lie strike just deletes your whole party. Uh, okay, don't die. I needed you to not die, buddy. Old buddy, old pal, I needed you to not bite the dust there. Uh, what do I do here? I don't really know what to do here. Looks like it just rocks, got a bunch. I feel like if I can knights the round just once, let him peerless, and then hit cloud. I don't like that strat. I need to like do the cloud strat immediately once the swarm's gone. If I can even get that far. First of 
that one. See, look, look at how little damage he does to Yuffie now. It's so nice. If that keeps up. Now, if he just randomly one-shots him, one-shots her later, then not so much, but... If we could keep, like, this magical thing where he doesn't one-shot everybody, and then I just had one more Knights of the Round to cast, like, we'd be all Coco Krispies here. Why didn't you mind... Oh, I don't know why. The total HP of his final form is 800,000, but we're not even at his final form yet. A tree fitty. Yeah, <laughs> tree fitty health. I think this is the strat, man. With max, with max stats, just Mega Elixir Light Curtain, Mega Elixir Light Curtain over and over. And hope that Adrenaline doesn't get him to the point where he's one-shotting us, which it probably will, but, you know. So far it hasn't. So far we've been alright. Alright, never mind. Although, granted, he didn't have Barrier. You got lucky in him without barrier, but. The, the, the problem isn't his HP at all. The problem is every time you hit him, he responds with Peerless and gets a stat boost. That's the issue with this fight. I don't give a crap about the health. I could countermine a thousand Knights of the Rounds and just kill him. See, game over. There's nothing I can do when that happens. There's nothing I can do. I just sit here and go, whoa. Wish I could win. <coughs> like, I just sit here wishing that that didn't happen. Because I... It, I got max everything. Still insta-kills me. Lucky sevens now, just to see if it even works. See what it even does. Will it keep going after he transforms? No, I'll probably get a hit here. He missed. Let's see, Cloud still. Okay, well, I got Lucky 7s there. Okay, so it, it, why did it re-establish? That's really strange. I don't know why that happened. So here you go, Lucky 7s. Will it work? Not that it really matters, because I can't really force this in the mod, but... Here's your... Here's your... Does it work? Well, I might be able to force it. Who knows? I could maybe find it collection of material that would work. It didn't seem to do too much. Oh, I got really lucky there. Never mind. Never mind, I forgot he attacks like eight times during this form, so it doesn't really matter what I do. Cloud can't even revive himself because he's a frog. He was good. Lucky sevens really works. Good, good thinking, guys. Good strats. Really good strats. Maybe with final attack revive it would work, but.
Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't like that strat too much. I don't even like freaking max stats. Like, it didn't help. I mean, it did, but they still get one shot sometimes. I... Yeah, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't know what... could possibly ever work. It makes me so mad. It's like, I can't get lucky. Every time I do one of these BS bullcrap strats that I know aren't going to work, he, like, never peerlesses. And then as soon as I'm like, alright, here's my strat, it's going to work, he peerlesses after every single attack. And it's not just Knights of the Round or Omni Slash. Even when I was doing the 4x cut strat, he just peer every single 4x cut, peerless, 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 peerless. But as soon as I do something stupid like this, he didn't peerless once in his green form. It's like absolute nonsense. I, you know, I feel like the game's cheating. I've never felt, never felt this way before. Where it's like it's just everything I do, it just counters it. So I don't know. I guess next time we'll do max stats. We'll get another knights of the round. Um, and we'll try it that way and hope that that we don't get lie striked I guess that's all I got that's my only you know that's exactly what Joe does in his video of him beating this boss he just buffs everybody uses Knights of the Round mimes it and just gets lucky and never gets lie striked like never just gets wiped by lie strike just dodges it every time so that's just what we gotta do I guess I don't know I hate for it to be so RNG based. I every boss I've ever done in these mods, I've always found a way to get past the RNG factor and, and find a way to like really just cheese the boss. But this one is uncheesable. The this is like it's impossible to cheese. You just have to get lucky. That's when it, when a boss gets a stat boost and peerless at the same time there's no counteracting that. You're either going to get overcome by the stat boost, or, you know, if you try to burst him, the peerless is going to stop you. I can't 8 counter mime Omni Slash. I can't 8 counter mime Knights of the Round because peerless stops it. So, maybe, I mean, maybe if I 8, if I literally had 8 counter copies of counter knights of the round or counter mine i could potentially like the first three knights of the rounds would do a nothing and then the peerless would wear off and then the another one would hit and then he'd peerless again and then another three would miss and then another one would hit and maybe it would work but i can't really do that in this mod because each knights of the round has a million ap so like it's not it's not gonna work really like i would have to grind for years or just cheat I don't really want to cheat. I might cheat myself like one Knights of the Round just because it would take like an hour to do it, but I'm not going to choose myself like eight of them because that's just, at that point, it's not even playing the mod correctly anymore. So. It's really just luck. It's really just hoping he doesn't wipe the party. And he does it so incredibly often. It reminds me a lot of my Final Fantasy X NSGN SNO challenge. Uh, the final boss, Braska's final Aeon, he has this sword swipe that hits everybody and delays everybody. Um, and he has a 30% chance to use it until he's in his final damage threshold and then he has a 60% chance to use it. And in order to beat that challenge, he had to sword swipe like only twice. Like if he sword swiped any more than two times, it was too much delay and I would die. So it almost feels like that challenge again where I just have to, to grind it out until I get lucky and he doesn't just wipe everybody. Because there's nothing I can do. Even, you know, there's nothing at all. Nothing I can think of. 
I've tried every damage reduction possible, but if he crits, it's just max damage. If he, if he decides to ignore defense, then it's max damage through shield. Um, and once he uses enough peerlesses, it's also always max damage because he has double his stats. He has max stats. I looked up. I looked it up. He has max stats. So if he uses adrenaline four times, that's like me using four hero drinks. So he has max stats doubled. So he has uh, 610 attack, right? 255 times two. So he has 610 attack stat. And I don't think there's anything in the game that's gonna stop that. Even 610 vitality, because that's what I have. So that's it. We just gotta get lucky. We just gotta, we gotta grind it out next time and then get lucky. I'm not going to give up yet. Did I say 6, 10, 5, 10? I can't math. Thank you. Uh, I was I was trying to like move the... Okay, what's 55 times 2? Okay, 10 carry. Anyways. Um, now I lost my train of thought because I can't math. It's alright. The YouTube comment, I can read them now. 510. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to give up yet. I say let's grind it out next week and then throw a bunch of attempts at it and hope to get lucky. So that's what we'll do. Man, I have 61 hours in this mod. That's pretty wicked. That, well, actually, I have more than that. I mean, 90 episodes, that's like 90 hours, so it's 30 hours of me dying and the time not counting. But I have I have 60, 61 actual active hours. I'm not gonna... It, that doesn't help, Big Boss. I can't do that in the regular game. I mean, maybe, but I doubt it. Like, if I could find a Materia combination to get me there... Then maybe, but I still feel like that's kind of lame to win that way. Let me save over this broken file so I don't accidentally use it later. Okay. I would have to find a materia setup that would get me there. And that's pretty hard to do. Kind of impossible to do, honestly. People have tried, and it's not, it doesn't usually work. I think I'm gonna find it. I mean, I can't. It's not really gonna work any anyways, because all the percentages are minus 10 or plus 10, so like you're never gonna get the 77 in the ones digits. So. Yes, I modded it to 7778 just to try it out. To see if. Because I had a bunch of people in my chat saying, like, just use 7777s. As if it's easy to just use it. But I figured I'd try it just for fun. It still doesn't really help that much. I think maybe Final Attack Revive with 7s would work. But good luck getting 7s. It's doable. I don't know if it's doable in this mod. and I, I'm level 97 already, so that doesn't help. I'd have to go negative levels. So... But anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for the Hardcore Mod today. Next week, we will give it another shot. We will grind the max stats so that Red 13 and Yuffie don't die so easily. 
we will maybe master a Knights of the Round so that we get at least two attempts at it, like two, two attempted casts so I could cast it, mime it once or twice, then heal up, then try it again. Um, but honestly, I don't even see a reason for that. Might as well just get max everything maxed and then continuously mime Knights of the Round, just hope we don't get killed. Um, so I don't, I don't see any reason to, to try that. Um, so maybe I'll just max that and then uh, try it from this there and just sucks. try to get lucky. This game sucks. <laughs> yeah, but getting 7,777 isn't enough. My health would have to be 7,777 because I need to be able to die, come back, and get it. Um so it's really not going to help like being able to force it because once I die once he's just going to continually kill me I mean granted maybe if I got lucky and he missed a lot I could like continually give myself 7-7s seven and then like come back I don't know maybe <laughs> thank you for those Seymour more bits um, I don't know it's possible but why are we even thinking about it because I'm never going to get cloud to 7s like ever it's not going to happen I could maybe go get Choco Bracelet, but that's it. Like, other than that, it's not going to happen. I don't even know if Choco Bracelet will work. It depends on how many times I've run away, and I've run away a lot, so... It might be too late to use Choco Bracelet. But yeah, I'm not using 7s. That's, like, too too, too cheesy anyways. Um, so, that's the goal. Max stats. Mime. Knights of the Round. Hope that I don't die get lucky. Choco Buckle. Yeah, who said Choco Bracelet? Choco Buckle. This is why I always get crap wrong, because I read my chat and I think they're right, and it gets in my head and then I, I don't even think about it myself. Anyways. Alright, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this extra special long episode. There'll probably be like six episodes on YouTube. I don't even know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to upload like two a day or something. But I'll figure it out. It's it's worth it for the finale, you know? It's, it's worth it the extra time to, to have a, a big finale for the Hardcore Mod. And then after this, we'll be doing something else special, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm off. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you guys on Twitch. I hung out. And we'll see you next time for more Hardcore Mod action with Sucky Cloud, Poopy Red 13 and can't dodge McGee, Yuffie.